this is definitely looking much different than last winter. We'll make it easier for you tonight. We'll just say you only have to give us the next 24 hours. Oh, I can do that. Right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to anyone who was out watching tonight and joined us on Reddit earlier on tonight. Great conversation going on online. So November, how about snow in this month? Well, we haven't had any in Boston yet. And the last time we had measurable snow in Boston in November was a few years ago, 2014. Remember we had a snowstorm right before Thanksgiving. And so it was definitely a wintry holiday that year. An average for the month is 1.2 inches, meaning it snows some years and some years it just dozen in Boston and the most on record was over a foot way back in 1898 I have to say this November no snow in Boston in terms of any accumulating snow there are no ch chances ahead of us here over the next week or so today's high temp 42 degrees which was 8 degrees below the average tomorrow's high temp will be 8 degrees above the average up around 58 and our temperatures are mainly holding steady out there this evening it's not actually 58 in New Bedford by the way they're having some issues with the weather sensor there we are watching some milder air off to our south and west that will be pushed in tomorrow another gusty day but a warmer day it'll be a dry day next rain showers are still quite a ways off to our west so tomorrow morning out the door we're in the 30s to around 40 degrees it'll be breezy tomorrow but with temperatures much warmer it'll be an easier day to take outside sunny breezy conditions wind out of the southwest at 15 to 30 for tomorrow afternoon and high temperatures should be well into the 50s our sunset is at 417 good day for travel if you're hitting the roads early or heading off to the airport no issues I have about 58 in Boston and Norwood, 52 in Worcester, Manchester up around 55. Not a bad day. Now, our one chance for rain this week is on Wednesday. It's as a cold front approaches, and it's going to try to link up with a system that's moving well off our coastline. And this should produce a band of some rainfall on Wednesday morning. And the best chance for a steady rain would be in southeastern Mass, especially toward Cape Cod and the islands, with a few showers wet north and west of the Boston area. So we head into the afternoon. Some drier air should push in. We'll clear out. We'll also cool off a little bit, and so it looks much quieter during the afternoon and evening on Wednesday. Either way, I don't think it's going to be a major travel issue for us because most of us are headed north and west because you can't go east from Boston. So I don't think it'll be, again, a big player. Then, and Thanksgiving itself, bright, chilly, lower 40s, a seasonably cool, dry, good backyard football kind of Thanksgiving. And if you're traveling and heading somewhere else, meeting up with family or friends, have a look around the country. No big storm systems, really. The story out west will be the warmth, record heat across the southwest Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Only real stormy pockets around the Pacific Northwest with some rainfall and Florida seeing some rain showers as we head into the next couple of days. And in the east, it's going to be chilly outside, just running a little bit below the norm, generally for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But no big storms, again, the main th uh, theme, so easy travel. Then on Friday, if you're heading out shopping or getting some holiday decorations, quiet, seasonable there. Saturday, we see a little bump up well into the 50s, and then on Sunday, a big drop is coming, and that's going to be a very cold air mass for late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. So there's the full seven day, and again, it's a pretty stress-free week, just watching a little rain on Wednesday, and after that, pretty seasonable stuff. David and Lisa, back to you. I think it's strange the turkey's doing the chicken dance, but that's all right. <laughs> the man with the yellow hat and his